I'm at a loss for words, y'all. I'm at a loss for freaking words. When there's a will, there's a way. I've been itching, like dope fiend itching, to watch this movie ever since it was announced last year. And I did a whole video about my enthusiasm for Eddie Murphy playing Rudy Ray Moore. I've been wanting to see this film. And then I found out it was getting a limited release, which pissed me off. Okay. And Netflix is going to drop it on the 25th. I can't wait till the 25th. I need my fix now. I found one theater by me that was playing this movie. I lucked out. I found one theater that was playing it. I drove about 30 minutes to get there, but I made it. Dolomite is my name. I'm finally get the chance to talk about this fucking movie. The time has come. So much hype, so much anticipation. And at the same time, fear. Because I'm like, I, I don't want to get myself too excited because if it sucks, I'm going to have to call on this bullshit. And you know how niggas get when you talk about a black movie and it's bad, they crucify you like you a sellout, like you a Uncle Tom, like you a coon. Just because a black product is not good. This movie was everything that I wanted it to be. Everything. It met my expectations. In some ways exceeded my expectations. This movie was a delight. I took my daughter with me to see it, and I was kind of nervous because Rudy Ray Moore is known for his vulgar comedy and shit. But and I was nervous about that, but I said, you know what? <sighs> Fuck it, it is what it is. You know, not that vulgar. Spoiler free, by the way. I'm not gonna get into spoilers here. This film was an experience and it was an inspiration. We've all seen the art imitating life, imitating art type movies, okay? Uh, badass with Mario Van Peebles on the movie about making Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song by his pops Melvin Van Peebles. Masterpiece film. The Disaster Artist by James Franco. Another great film. Uh, I'll even put Bowfinger in that category with Steve Martin and Eddie. Great film. So we've seen this formula done before. But I tell you what, I could watch this formula a million times if it's a different story, a different person, and different obstacles. Formula is the same. So it's nothing like you're going to be like, wow, this is something that I've never experienced before. No, you have experienced this before. If you watch movies, a lot of movies, especially those type of movies, you've experienced this before. But it's the experience of the character. Now, Eddie plays Rudy Ray Moore, the legendary comic from the 70s, the godfather of rap. Dolomite himself inspired a whole generation of hip-hop, black culture, Say what you want about his movies. I used to shit on his movies. But now I appreciate them. And especially after watching this, I appreciate it even more. Because this movie perfectly displays the obstacles and everything this man had to go through to make his dream come, tr uh, his dream come true. Being a small YouTuber myself, I have YouTube boy dreams of one day having thousands of subscribers, thousands of views, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I have those kind of dreams. That's not that's not my only dream. That's like not my ultimate goal in life. You know what I mean? But I've always had a love for film. I've always had a love for just anything movies and comic book related. So I just always wanted to be a part of it some way, somehow. Went to film school, wanted to be a filmmaker. That didn't work out. Ended up getting married and domesticated and all that shit. Uh, no longer married, by the way. Thank you, Jesus. But um. Had all these dreams and shit, man, and now it's like I, I'm I'm putting uh, I'm putting my all into this YouTube thing, and hopefully it'll blossom into other stuff where I can, you know, do other things as far as like you know the medium goes. This movie is like a Rocky story, but with Rudy Ray Moore. This man did not take no for an answer. Rudy Ray Moore got told no so many times. Door closed in his face. You're too ugly. You're too fat. You're not talented. You're not funny. Nobody wants to hear this shit. You're too vulgar. So many reasons why he was not supposed to make it. Rudy Ray Moore said, fuck you. You don't want to put my shit out. I'm going to create my own shit. I'm going to sell it myself. I'm going to put myself out there. You ain't stopping me. And I got goosebumps and chills watching this movie. Eddie Murphy's portrayal of Rudy Ray Moore, flawless. Now, don't get me wrong, he doesn't sound like Rudy. He doesn't even look like Rudy. But just the way he played that character, you, like he, he captured his spirit, his essence. 
I felt like I was watching Rudy Ray more because Eddie Eddie was able to channel that man. And he did a phenomenal job. Everybody in this movie did phenomenal. Uh, the one actress, it's, it's her first movie, so excuse me if I don't know her name. But she played Lady Reed. First movie. Knocked it out the park. Killed it. Had one scene that had me emotional. Like I said, I can watch shit like this all the time. Give me, give me the story of uh, Isaac Hayes and I'll watch it. Give me the fucking story of whoever. I will watch it. As long as it's done right, I will watch it and I will enjoy it. Craig Brewer directed this movie. He's also responsible for Hustle and Flow, Black Snake Moan. This guy is a perfect guy for this movie because I feel like he captured the 70s. He captured the black exploitation. And he just puts a lot of funk and soul into this movies. And this is a white dude. <laughs> this is a white dude, man. And he puts a lot of soul and funk into his movies. And for what this movie was supposed to be, he captured it perfectly. I can go on and on about how much I love this film. But I don't want to ramble too much because I know after a while, you start losing motherfuckers. And they click off your face and go to the next video. We have short attention spans nowadays. If you can find this movie in a the theater... If you can find it, it, it it's, it's going to be hard. It's almost like a needle in a haystack. But if you can find this playing in a theater, watch it ASAP. I'm talking to you, goddammit. Watch this movie ASAP. I can't wait to go see this again. I want to go see it tomorrow. The place where I went to go see it, they're having screenings tomorrow, Sunday, and I think Monday. I just want to take everybody I know and go watch this shit. That's how much I enjoyed it. And they also ded dedicated the film to Charlie Murphy, who was a big... Dolomite fan, Rudy Ray Moore fan, he was the big brother of Eddie Murphy. The film was dedicated to him. Uh, Perfect Touch, what they did for, you know, for Charlie. Um, I love this film. I loved The Joker, don't get me wrong, but I think this movie, right as of right now, the year's not over yet, but as of right now, favorite film of the year. So I got Dolomite as my name, I got Joker, and I got Shaft. Right now, those are my three Fuck y'all if y'all don't like it. <laughs> Look, I'm not into the whole artsy shit and the whole, yes, you know, no, there, there's so many other masterpieces and, you know, fuck that. I'm just going by my experience and what I felt when I saw these movies. And those three movies I just named made me feel something. Dolomite is my name inspired me so much. Never take no for an answer. You know, chase the dream, man. Put your all into it. Man. I'm about to almost cry even talking about this shit, yo. Yeah. So wrapping this up, y'all. I give Dolomite Is My Name a A fucking plus. A plus plus if I could. Love this movie. Go see it. If you can't see it in the theater, it'll be on Netflix on the 25th. Watch it. Get a group of people together and watch it. This is more than Netflix worthy. No diss to Netflix, but this is more than Netflix worthy. This needs to be seen on the big screen. Unfortunately, the movie I saw it at, me and my daughter was only black people in the crowd. And, you know, listen, I'm not trying to make this a race thing or whatever, but it's just something about when you have a black film with black people in the crowd getting into it, there's no experience like that. Go see this movie, y'all. Check this movie out. This I don't know why this didn't get a wide release. I don't know how a movie like Stuber or what's what's another movie that, that's out right now, Renaya, that's dumb. She got her earphones and she ain't listening. But you have all these dumbass movies that get these theatrical releases, you know, and this couldn't get a, a major theatrical release? Get the fuck out of here, man. Miss me with that shit. Anyways, y'all, that's all I got. Dolomite is my name. The illest movie of the year so far. If you've seen it, comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Love this shit. Eddie, you know, if Eddie don't get an Oscar nomination this year, so what? Fuck it. You know, Eddie don't need the Oscars. You know what I'm saying? Like Tyler Perry said, Hollywood wants to ignore me. Fuck it. I make my own shit. Eddie Murphy is the people's champion. If he never wins an Oscar, Eddie Murphy is the people's champion, man. So fuck an Oscar, man. Eddie, you did your thing on this one, man. Can't wait to see your next shit. And Wesley Snipes. How could I forget Wesley Snipes real quick? <laughs> Wesley Snipes is in this movie, y'all. Wesley absolutely kills it. He is funny as shit. A little over the top with it, but whatever. He's over the top, but... He he was one of the highlights of this movie, man. Wesley Snipes is hilarious. No wonder Eddie wants him to be in Coming to America, too. So anyways, y'all, that's all I got, man. Uh, comment freely below. Let me know what you thought about the movie if you've seen it. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.